Linda, it's been almost two months since uh, those massive explosions in Beirut. What's the situation like there now on the ground? The situation in Lebanon is very dire at the moment. As you were just mentioning, the country has been going through multiple crises, so not just political. We also have a massive economic crisis in place now uh, that literally sunk more than half of our population under the poverty line. Most people cannot even afford basic necessities such as food, such as medicine. That, of course, has been made worse by the hyperinflation that we're going through. Uh, Lebanon was the first country in the Middle East to ever enter hyperinflation. Its uh, Lebanese pound has lost at least 75 percent of its value in the last few months as well. Uh, add to that the, the dollar crisis and um, capital control. Most people can't even withdraw their hard-earned money from the banks at the moment. And so, as you can imagine, that has made things worse, not just for the people, but also business owners. Uh, Lebanon heavily relies on import. In fact, uh, its food needs, 80 percent of its food needs uh, are imported. So as you can imagine, the explosions that happened on August 4 were just the final blow uh, for the Lebanese people. We had at least 300,000 who were displaced. A lot of them are still homeless until today. So uh, we're facing a massive humanitarian crisis at the moment as well. Many people need to be rehomed urgently. As you know, winter is just around the corner from now, so they need homes, they also need food and medicine as well. Uh, we're also facing potentially a health crisis. A lot of hospitals here are understaffed or underfunded as well. Uh, they're running on, on very low uh, medications uh, here as well. So international aid is needed now more than ever in Lebanon. Linda, today is a day of solidarity here in France with France 24. Is that enough, though? What, what do the Lebanese people really want from France and from the world? To be fair, uh, the Lebanese people heavily relies on international help at the moment, now more than ever, because they have nobody else to turn to at the moment. We have no government, as you know. Uh, you know, there's been lots of uh, problems recently forming a new government, a government that will be finally capable of implementing the needed reforms in order to unlock the billions of dollars that could salvage Lebanon's economy. And without this money coming fast, it's going to be pretty much impossible for the Lebanese to rise up again, to get back on their feet and to access the most basic necessities. Uh, you know, uh, the central bank lately has been using, has been using dwindling uh, amounts of foreign reserves in order to subsidize the import of the most basic needs, such as uh, wheat, such as fuel, such as medicine. But as the central bank governor, Riyad Salemi, recently said, we only have three months for these uh, funds to last. And after that, where are we headed? So uh, if, if aid isn't poured in as soon as possible, then we are heading straight into a wall at the moment. Linda, thank you for that. Linda Tamin reporting for us there from Beirut.